Mike Phillips down here at Auto Geek Show Car Garage and I just got done covering up the convertible top on this 1962 Cadillac. Now our Saturday Detailing 101 class is an introduction to machine polishing so of course we have a lot of people that are new to machine polishing and once in a while mistakes get made like someone lifts the polisher off the paint before the pad starts stop spinning and when that happens little splatter dots fly everywhere and to protect the convertible top, which has a, a weave or a grain to it, from becoming impacted with polish residue, it's just a good idea to take and cover it up. Now you can do this with any, any drop cloth, like a painter's drop cloth you get at a hardware store. In this case I found one that uh, states on the package that it's biodegradable, so it's a little more earth friendly. And then all I did is just carefully tape it off to the chrome trim. And there's snaps here too where the uh, boot goes when the top's down. So I covered those up too so we can buff right up to it but not actually get any polish residue on the top itself. So it doesn't take very long to do. Just get some painter's tape, drop cloth covered up. And that way you won't have to come back and try to remove any residue out of the weave of that cloth. Now this one has a black convertible top so any polish residue that gets on there would stand out like a sore thumb. The next thing I did is I took and put, um, this is a microfiber windshield towel. Um, I used to use beach towels and Auto Geek brought this one out. It's real soft, won't scratch the paint in case you rub it against the paint when you're putting it on. And basically I just took and I, I laid it across the windshield, taped it over the windshield so it's real secure, it ain't going to come off. And what this does is anytime you're using a rotary buffer, a lot of times your rotary buffer will throw splatter and it'll get on the windshield and more importantly it'll get up here on the wiper arms and on inside this fresh air grill that's underneath the microfiber here. And once it gets inside there it's almost impossible to get it out. A lot of times when I see someone that's buffed out a car, one of the first things I'll do, especially if it's a classic, is I'll look at the fresh air grill intake to see if the guy threw splatter everywhere because it just makes the whole thing look ugly and again it's almost impossible to get it out. So this is large enough to start up here at the top of the windshield line, come all the way down, fold it over the fresh air grill, over the wipers here, and then I tuck it, I open the hood, tuck it down and tape it to the ledge of the firewall here. So it's nice and neat and clean and yet all the paint is still exposed so we can get in here and remove all those swirls and scratches. Anyway, it just saves us from having to come back and detail the windshield, any of the rubber that's a uh, rubber uh, gaskets around the wing window here, and then of course the convertible top. Now tomorrow's class is machine polishing 101 and for that we have a huge collection of tools out here for everybody to use, different types of pads, so everybody will get plenty of hands-on time, especially since the car is just as big as a yacht. So everybody will have plenty of hands-on time to learn how to machine polish and have a good time, hopefully. We're going to be using the Pinnacle line of products, a lot of attention on the uh, advanced swirl mover and the finishing polish. These work really good. Going to go over a lot of techniques for how to apply and remove products. We've got the Flex PE14 all ready to go with the spot repair pad on it. We've got the brand new DeWalt ready to go. Got a little five and a half inch pad on it. Try to make things easy for people that are new to machine polishing. Got the swirl finder lights over here getting charged up ready to go so we can inspect our work. Plenty of microfibers on hand. Products. This will be the Cyclo cart. The other Cyclo on the table will come over here. Back here we got two different pad washers set up. This is the uh, System 2000. This is one actually for wool pads on rotary buffers. Got a little uh, drive wheel back here and these plastic rollers here that clean your pads. And of course a metal spur. So after you clean it in here, come back and spur it and then it'll fluff it up and get it nice and clean. Makes buffing a lot easier. Over here we got the Grit Guard Universal Pad Washer. And last time I cleaned these all out. So they're all ready to go. And this will be for uh, all the DA polishers. And of course, got notes. Chairs, ink pens, port cable cart. We'll have coffee and donuts over here in the morning, and we are ready to go. This should be a lot of fun, especially since this thing is really wiped out. This would be a real challenge. I have confidence in my students. I think they're going to do good. Anyway, so check out AutoGeekOnline.net for the before and after pictures. And uh, if you're interested in taking one of our detailing classes, just shoot me an email at Mike dot phillips at autogeek.net and I'll reply back to you and let you know when our next scheduled classes are going to take place. We'll see you on the forum.